Bolero parking lot. Bum, 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 bam. Let's see what we got here. This looks very, look at that. Check out the broth. Let's see. We got it. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Well, oh. you hear the froth? Oh, you hear that froth? Oh, baby, baby, ma, 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 ma. Oh, wow, look at this. Got, uh, first time seeing this in stores. Oh, my goodness. of the year toy hunt is officially underway. I am heading back into the city today for work. So I figure why not kick this hunt off with a store that we haven't been to in quite some time, Midtown Comics Grand Central location, and see what they got going on over there. And honestly, truthfully, I think I'm done talking now. So let's go. Superman Mafex, pretty cool. This is right when you walk in off of the uh, off of the elevator right there. Captain America, Bandai, first time ever seeing that. Storm, a couple of Storm Kentaros down there. Max Factory Figma. And take a look at this. Wow, is this McBain? Reaction's awesome, but first time I'm seeing Motu here at Midtown. If I can get this back on the peg, it's pretty cool to see that. Sunman 2000X branding. Snout Spout, a few of those. Some DC Mego, too. First time seeing Red Hood, and these like peg stoppers are difficult to deal with. What is going on? That's a Superman. If I can get this, I can't get him off the peg, seriously. Justice League Supes, Red Sun Superman. It's very cool. And then this is usually Yasuri Bob. The Wall O Reaction. This is the first time I'm seeing this. How much is that? $13.99? Little markup there, not terrible. This is awesome. First time seeing the Moon Knight. Firestar. These are all so great. Let me know in the comments who is collecting this toy line. I am all in on it. And it doesn't disappoint. On card really are off. And some Novas. These look good. Some reaction Xena and Gabrielle down there. Amazing I have not <laughs> bought those yet. Fire stars and another big wall of toys. One of the sweet spots here for me usually. What do we have here? Boss Fight Studio. Cool. Blue Doll and Popeye. PX exclusive. Limited to 1500. Wow, this is pretty awesome. $73.99. Transformers. Joe stuff that has been here for a while. Looks like a Vader minibus down there. Black series. The OG Mando suit. Stuff that we see in big box retail all of the time. Ah, first time seeing this too. Eh, $42.99. Ah. Not today, but this looks really good. Fugitoids, it looks like a couple of slashes back there. And unarmored, last run, and first time getting a look at this in person. Place is well stocked today. Looks good. $42.99 on that. More Motu. Loyal Subjects, got a little best action. Bebop and Rock. 40 year He Man. Yeah. Mummy accessories set down here, along with a survivor pack. And moving into the toy nook here, the sideshow, new sideshow Darth Vader premium format. 
Spidey Premium Format, Code of Bakia. Magneto, which looks really good. Wow. That is pretty nice. Is that a sculpted cape too? Yeah, that is a sculpted cape. Really nice. All of the shading too, you can see throughout his suit. It's not overshaded. Sometimes you see that, you'll see where it's like, sometimes it could be a little too dark, you know, in the crevices of his suit. All these muscle bound dudes, and this is obviously a classic muscle bound depiction of Magneto, which we don't always get, but I personally enjoy that. Shading on that is very nice. Hook Mountain, Lion-O, some Golden Axe. Oh man, I, if they, I wish they, <laughs> it'd be nice if they had the BBTS exclusive here, but don't dance. Fully stocked here. Look at that Green Goblin. Half scale bust from Diamond. Looks pretty nice. Galactus Maquette, Sideshow. Chark Brothers, Gambit Premium Format, Sideshow, Will Harbottle, very, very nice. And the Wall O Legends plus Diamond up there. <laughs> what do we have here? Eh, stuff we've seen before that we see all the time. This Ghost Rider is the first time I've seen this repro in, in person. This looks very good. Wow. Man, the updated head sculpts on this and just updated sculpt in general is pretty awesome. I have all of the, just about all of the Flame Glow, $32.99, all of the Flame Glow uh, vintage. But this looks really good. Really, really good. Love that. Blaze head is awesome. And Amazing Fantasy, I'd pick those boxes up, but on the Japanese variant and the uh, AF-15, but what you see is what you got there. Ooh, a lot of firsts for me today at this place. Toy Biz Inspired, Big Boy Apocalypse. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That is pretty awesome. I must say, Got Iron Man over here, Fire Lord, some plushies, and the big DC wall, and Joe's. Anything new for Joe's here? I got the twins, Zorana. First time seeing this. A lot of Zorana. A couple, some stalkers, which I love. One of my favorite classified figures. I'm gonna definitely take this peg down. So let me not try and go through that. But twins, Tomax and Zamop, Dread Pirate Roberts, got the Princess Bride. This wave is here. Some DC Direct stuff down here. See Superman and Supergirl. Give you guys a closer look at this. Is just stuff we see all the time in big box retail. Target and Walmart, Speed Bullets, Batman over here, Blight, Lex Luthor, Power Suit. Yeah. Some Marvel Selects that have just been shelf warming for months. Some more Selects down here as well. And that's it for the Toy Nook. For anyone that's unfamiliar with this place, why don't I show you the, the big case of six scale stuff. Oh, so it's gonna be good? I love this diamond thing. Wow. PX exclusive. That Batman is pretty, 
pretty sick. That's amazing. It's pretty nice, honestly. Six scale gentle giant stuff. And Kota Bukia. Man, that Kota Thor is actually awesome. That's really cool. I like that Thor a lot. Man. First time seeing that Hydra Stomper. Holy crap. What do they want for that? Seven Hundo? Holy moly. That's big. We got a mix of Star Wars, the Crow, G.I. Joe, 3 0. Some clones, Boba. There's definitely some new stuff here. Justice League Joker, Snyder Cut. Wow, that's new. Got some quarter scale stuff here now. In this case, that's the one of the Cap Sideshow Premium Formats, Thor Premium Format. First time seeing this in person. I really love this base. Look at that. That is sick. And that head portrait on Thor is great. Infinity Saga Cap. And yeah, and then up here we've got a lot of Mezco. And Iron Studios, some of the statue boxes. And that's it for the toy slash statue nook here at Midtown Comics Grand Central location. There's one other display across the room all the way over there. Across the room here, got some Marvel Selects, Collector Edition Venom. I used to, I used to own that. Some Avatar stuff. Oh, my yeah, hero yeah, and for any of you statue guys looks like they have a doom maquette from sideshow here it's awesome and i have always loved these gentle giants are amazing i might seriously consider picking, picking some of these up one day i really like those a lot kind of pricey Eddie and a Vader helmet. That's a must. I'd rather have this than the, than the Sideshow bust and Black Panther. Very, very cool stuff here. Midtown Comics. Grand Central location. Come check it out. Statues, action figures. What do we have up here? We've got... Oh, the Venom Premium Format box. Comics, of course, plenty of those here, all over the, all over the place. This is the other side of the, the display we just looked at. Barry Allen, first time seeing this. Jay Garrick, oh cool, very cool. First time seeing those. Oh, it's Red Hulk. Brand new stock here, man. Some more Spidey. Red Hood, Wally West. Really nice selection here. These guys are ready for the, the holiday season, that's for sure. This Red Hulk is amazing. This, over by the elevator here, right when we walk in. We looked at the side of the case, but not the front. Got Mando and the Blurg. And this, Dark Knight Returns Superman may affect is awesome. This case has some real heat in it, as you can see. Bandai Power Rangers. Really nice. Batman Who Laughs, Capullo, Carlin Toys. And that bat light up sign. Also very, very cool. Okay, now I think we are officially done here at Midtown Comics and Grand Central. Oh, baby. Daddy's back in Norwalk. It's day two. We're about to step into 650 Main here in Connecticut. Full day of hunting ahead of us, which is very exciting. After we hit both of the Wally Worlds here in Norwalk, I plan to head back home, hit the gym, which then places us very close to the Undiscovered Realm. 
So hopefully as long as I can find a parking spot, we'll pop in and see what's going on over there. After that, I plan to head back home over the bridge and through the woods to West Nyack Palisades Mall we go. We'll hit the Target. We'll also check out True Believers. Maybe mix in a GameStop. I kind of want to just give you guys a, a full end of the year view of all the stores in my area. So that's the plan. Uh, here at 650, hoping to run into some 50 year Migo, which we have not seen yet. Along with the Hasbro shipper that everybody has found, I have been trying to get to the store for the past two weeks, just haven't had a chance. So, as much as I don't plan to buy anything off that shipper, I know that I'm going to be tempted by a few things that are included in that shipper. So, we'll see. One way or another, we're about to find out. NECA section, we have arrived. Quick little view of the pops. And wow, we are looking more stacked than usual. Any Mego? No. But, first time seeing this in big box. We saw it the other day at Midtown Comics, last Ronin. Very cool seeing this. I am tempted, but I'll probably pass. I think I'm going to pass on this. Uh, some more pops. Oh, wow. Look at this. Secret of the Ooze, two packs. Yeah, we got all the brothers here. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. So this place is freshly stocked. Got a couple of Robocops. Frankenrath. Very cool. Everything but Mego, of course. <laughs> and then down here, man, this is really stacked. Got a Hudson where we picked him up a few months ago or a month ago, whenever that was. And a Bronx. Yeah, this is the most stacked that this NECA section has been at this Wally World in a very, very long time. Dino situation. Is this guy new? I don't remember. Velociraptor Blue. I feel like I'm seeing some new dinosaurs. That's cool. Uh, flipping around. Mattel WWE Superstars. Stuff we've seen before. A couple of Shangos. Taker. A couple of Takers. I am very happy that this stuff is hitting. Wow, this is a very minty Mankind. This is worthy of a signature. I might pick this up. I might pick that up. I said that twice for no reason, but yeah, I'm going to pick that up three times for no reason. Out of page, out of page, out of page. No new Motu. No new surprise. Uh, what else? Transformers. Junk Heap. Look, I haven't seen this in a while. I really just cannot keep track of the Transformers stuff. I don't collect it, as you guys know. I don't know anything about it. Every scale imaginable. But you think as many times as I go over and see this stuff that I have a better handle on it. I just don't. That is cool, by the way. Uh, moving on down. In abundance, as always. Superpowers reissued stuff. McFarlane DC. The Huge. Batman Hush. Oh, three Jokers. And more superpowers, full pegs. I mean, this is just not hard to find, which is which is good. I like that flash and that Green Lantern too. Star Wars is looking like this is crazy. Lando check, he's still here. Needs a home for the holidays. More superpowers. Wow. Come get it. 650 main. Playmates. Oop. 
Star Trek. Still hanging out here on the pegs. And I think got our little Hot Wheels display that's always here. Old Faithful there. But I think that's going to be it. And I don't see... Well, the shipper wouldn't be... The Hasbro shipper wouldn't be here. It would be... Let me show you guys where it would be. Film this in store before. It wouldn't be in the shoe aisle, but that's the route we're taking to get there. So it would be right somewhere over here. So let's see. It's Hot Wheels. Nerf. Swirling surprise. I definitely do not see it. So this is normally where they put the big promotional shippers. As you can see, there's, you know, of course, they've got stupid Beyblade, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see it here. If I happen to wander around and find it, I will let you guys know. But it's looking like we struck out on the shipper front, but that's okay. Six eighty Connecticut Avenue, in a desperate attempt to hopefully find some fifty or Mego. Oh, first time seeing that slash in big box retail. Got another last Ronin over there. And some other stuff up here, which I can't, I obviously don't know what that is, but uh, I might pick up that Slash today. Got a cart here that uh, is not mine. Doesn't look like it's anyone, anyone's cart. An abandoned cart here in the uh, ye old NECA section. Got that old two pack. Hanging around, another Hudson, a couple of Hudsons. So it looks like both of these Walmarts have restocked with some new stuff. That slash is great. I think I'm gonna pick that up today. Okay, so this is easily the best NECA section I've seen at 680 Connecticut Avenue. We're gonna spin around and head into the main toy aisle. Moving out of the NECA section, so this area, before we get to the main toy aisle, this is typically where any of the big promotional shippers are uh, in this store. It's where I found a big DC shipper. Um, found it forever, getting closer. The big DC shipper from earlier in the year. Ooh, what, oh, wait a second. Marvel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. There it is. I kind of want this shipper, too. Can I have this shipper, Walmart? Uh, this is a big boy, though. Beast Wars, Transformers. Really cool to see these. If there were any Transformers to pick up for me, it would be these, but I will not be doing that. Cool to see that. Wow. The definition of picked. So we are definitely late to this party. I would have picked up some... Purge Troopers, do we have any? No, we don't. I would I would have picked up uh, the Cash Grab Holiday Coal hanging around. The Purge Troopers and an Arc Trooper for my Cosmic Legions army building. I plan to use some Troopers, gaming greats and stuff with, with them, and I feel like those two aforementioned would also work. This Mace Windu is awesome, by the way. I do not have it. But that is a really nice Mace Windu figure. It looks like all Windus. Yep. And so is this Grievous. Love the card art on these. You know, I just, just don't need it. And let's see. Marvel Legends. I really like this a lot. This would be an awesome shipper to have, too. Or at least, like, this side cap would be perfect. And... <laughs> No Spidey Retro whatsoever. Got a handful of Ulix. Beefy Boy, I really like this too. This I could use for my Mythic Legions. I would consider that. This is really nice. Ah, it's a maybe. And look at all the Spider-Man Retro that we found. Yep. Oh, very nice. Man, the bottom of that box is just banged the F up. What about this side? Uh, I don't want the Star Wars one, but or I think they're the same, actually. Just opposite sides, right? On each of the, uh, yeah, okay. 
So a bit banged up here. And uh, are they attached? Now we're going, we, we, we moved over into shipper hunting. So these are separate. So I might actually consider saying it like I have an option. This one's clean. Very clean, wow. Oh man, do we go shipper hunting or what? Again? Uh, I want that. I do want that, we'll see. All right, let's go to the main toy aisle and continue shopping for, uh, shopping, hunting for toys. We don't shop, we hunt. Mike OG, he shops, right? Uh, we hunt. Uh, Ampelosaurus. This looks new, in dino territory. Pyroraptor. We are definitely seeing some some new dinos here. Daddy Dino, Craig Tello, let me know. I, I think these are new. Who's this guy back here? Yeah, these are all, these are definitely new. Um, this is usually the miscellaneous pile of junk section. To, or where like wrestling figures <laughs> go to die. Uh, and speaking of which, wow, pegs of the Mattel WWE wave, superstars. Uh, whatever waves, four and five, got a Shango. I did not pick up that Mankind at 650. Um, the bottom left was really creased, so I left that alone. Thunderosa, Cody Rhodes. Adam Page, Powerhouse Hobbs. Let's see, let's have a chase. Skeleton God, I really don't like this. I never have and I never will. That first wave was kind of rough with Masterverse. They totally turned that whole line around, if you ask me. Uh, Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe and Transformers. Junk Heap, Junk Heap. Hitting shelves around here. Dinobot Slug and Daniel Wick Wicky. It's pretty cool. Predacon Sandstorm, Headless, new variant. What else, what else, what else do we get? Road Hauler, similar to, this is all similar to what we saw the last time we were here, you know, several weeks ago. Although this definitely looks new. Shadow Strip, that does look new. Decepticon Crasher, also very cool. Yeah, a whole peg of those. Joe Classified, Peg Warmers. Uh, huh, this guy's hanging around, huh? Little uh, vintage price action there. Take that all day. It's a retro, retro prices right there. Nokia, an Eternal sighting. This is a mess. Superpowers. Very light on the Star Wars. This this has been here for several months. I can say that with confidence, including those quills. And Star Wars, nothing much. Some Minecraft, Halo. Two Halo figures that have been here also for several months from my recollection. Some Who Laughs superpowers. I think that's going to do it. So I think, you know, I might go take that and buy that slash over in the NECA section. Maybe a Ulick and maybe a shipper. I don't know. Time will tell. Ba 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 bam I really hope this one is good. It's the end of the year coffee talk. I take this very seriously. We've been avoiding this particular donut delight because these have not been that good this year. But this is the most nostalgic lot for me to sit in on this channel during these hunts, even before this channel, you know, I've been coming to this Donut Delight for years and years now, along with the other one, the one in Elm Street, which is always money in Stamford. Uh, that one, you've seen that parking lot more often than this one. But this is just the most classic lot for me on this channel. I've shared so many fun and, and cool moments right here in this very spot, literally in this very spot. The good old-fashioned Bolero parking lot. Ba -ba -ba bam Let's see what we got here. This looks very, look at how, look at the broth. 
Let's see. We got. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh, you hear the froth? Oh, you hear that froth? Oh, baby, baby, mama, mama. Mmm. Oh my God. A froth. Oh my goodness. See the froth? Oh, it's a little bit too bad. Mmm. All right. Anyway, holy moly! Wow, that is frothy. That is end of the year froth right there. I'm loving that McDonald's. Loving that. That is incredible. Wow. Okay. Got to come back here now more often. Renewed faith. That that is really good. This could be the frothiest freaking mother effer that I've ever had here. Wow. Oh my god. I love keeping it in, just pocket in your mouth. It's so good. You pocket in your mouth, you swish it around. I think it's Listerine. Anyway, let's get into the one and only, the lone pickup of this hunt thus far. We've picked up the Mirage Slash. Loving the comic-inspired box art here from NECA. Nice beefy turtle, one of my favorites. This was... A must for me. Uh, I am collecting this Mirage line, and it's the first Mirage uh, pickup for me. So very excited for this, very happy with this. We did see him in Midtown Comics uh, the other day as well, but um, I wanted to find him for retail, and we did. So very happy with this pickup. Um, I will continue to pick these up as I find them. And uh, yeah, we didn't pick up the Secret of the Ooze 2-Packs for a couple of reasons. One, I ordered them off the NECA store online, and they came in the other day. And I was on the fence about them. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to order order these, see how I feel when they come in hand, and make a decision whether or not I want to keep them. The Shredder is awesome. I mean, so are the Turtles. The, the Turtles are great, too. But for, for some reason, I, I just feel like... I'm trying to be very disciplined with the stuff that I want to allocate to shelf space uh, once the collection room, which is going to be very close to completion uh, once we resume construction soon. Get into that in a moment. But uh, I just, I'm trying to really stay focused. And I am, when it comes to TMNT, I'm all in on, on the vintage. And as most of you, I'm sure, are aware, the vintage Playmates TMNT line has close to I want, I'd say 400 figures. And while I don't need to complete the entire, the entire run, that is one line where I would love to do that. And maybe, you know, I, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, but, um, I, I just, I love the original TMNT line. I mean, it's arguably my favorite toy line of all time. I've said that a million times on this channel. So I'm all in on that mint loose, even some carded, I've done away with the Team and T cartoon line, as you guys know, and I've kept the. I've done away with the Turtles and Timeline. Never really liked that line to begin with. Uh, that stuff is all gone now. But I have kept the movie stuff. Uh, I love the that token Razar. Can't live without that. I'll, I'll never get rid of those. Uh, this new Shredder is great. Um, I really like him. I love all the foot soldiers, the army builders that I've collected over the years. I have the Lou Crate Splinter. The Casey Jones is great. Um, like the core characters for the movies I have already. Um, and these turtles, while, while they look great, I just don't know if I need them. So I have to make a decision on that. I have them at home, so that's why I didn't buy them. But if I didn't buy them off the NECA store, I don't know that I would have bought them today. Really cool to see. I love the packaging, the secret of the use packaging, really. That's that's what gets me, too. If that packaging somehow was not as inspiring to me, I, I, I had a better chance that I passed on them even online. So I don't know. But I have them at home. Really cool to see out in the stores. Same with the last Ronin figure. I would, lo I would, well, go, go. I would love to... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I would love to... Uh, to grab the armored variant of the last Ronin. Um, so whenever we run into that, I will scoop that. The unarmored one looks great. I just don't need both. And um, yeah, that kind of sums it up for, for Turts, Turts McGurks. Uh, really cool to see all that stuff. Didn't see any 50 year Mego, but I will take this in exchange for that. Let me know in the comments if you guys are seeing this 50 year Mego stuff. I feel like 
it's just me that's not finding it. Um, and again, it's like one Walmart that kind of by me that I go, none of these Walmarts are that close to me, by the way. So, you know, I live in Westchester County, New York, lower Westchester, and I'm in Norwalk, Connecticut. These are the two Walmarts I always come to, as you guys know, most of the time I try to do that piggyback off of, uh, my work, uh, or coming from work, I should say, which is in Greenwich. Uh, most of the time when I'm not in the city, I split time between, uh, the Greenwich and the, and the city office, the Midtown office in Manhattan. Um, so whenever I'm in, whenever it's a Connecticut day, if I can, I'll try to get here, uh, at some point, whether it's before work, middle of work, after work, whatever. So, um, but, uh, the Wally Worlds they usually have, or the one Wally World, the one Walmart that usually has Mego is in Mohegan Lake. I just don't like going there. Um, we went a few weeks ago. They didn't have it. So I'm like, yeah. Maybe we'll try again before the uh, end of the year, the very end of the year. I don't know. It's it's December 17th. It's Saturday. Um, I've been meaning to get to this uh, part of Connecticut. I've been meaning to get out here to Norwalk, Um the past two weeks, I really wanted to get here earlier in the week because I had a feeling that the stupid Hasbro, it's not stupid, the Hasbro shipper that everyone's finding, I had a feeling it was going to hit this week. I really wanted to try and get out here earlier in the week, but I just couldn't with work and my schedule. So um, we did find the shipper. So that was cool. Very happy just to see that. Totally picked, uh, as you guys saw, was on the fence about Ulick, passed on on him. Uh, I would have picked up, like I mentioned in store, a purge trooper or two and probably an arc trooper and use them for my cosmic legions army builders, because I do plan on using some troopers more so the gaming greats for, uh, for some of my army building with cosmic legions. I think those will work nicely. Um, not available at the store. And of course, Spidey Retro, which I've been tempted to stay into. You guys know that I'm out of Marvel Legends. Really tempted to stay in on Spidey Retro, but uh, we haven't. If I saw the cell shaded Spidey and, uh, and um, why am I drawing a blank? Who else was just released in that? That's the real one that I wanted, um, potentially. Oh, uh, Lizard, which I had ordered off the Walmart website, um, but I moved that. Really nice figure too. Tempted to stay in on that line, but as the collection room, like I mentioned, I think uh, earlier in this uh, coffee talk, that I'm trying to be really good with my space and thinking about allocating space in the collection room to be. And um, if it's not something that I really need or totally or just am totally in love with or that I'm really all in on, I'm not trying to buy it because that's space I can use, you know, and allocate to other things that I want more or that I'm looking to prioritize more. So I try to think of it as, you know, if I didn't have any friends, I don't really have that many. So, so if I had no friends at all, uh, and I, I wasn't influenced by YouTube, if I wasn't influenced by Instagram and I go out, I straight up just plain and simple. I see, I go out to a store, I see a figure and I say, wow, this is awesome. I need this. I want this. I'm buying it. Uh, if I say that, it's a done deal. If I even hesitate just a little bit, it's staying on the shelf. Because as you guys know, there are just way too many options these days. And I just don't want to be in the business of buying something and then moving it, you know, soon thereafter. Um, or just like kind of ha going half seas on a line. Like, I just don't want to do that. So again, I don't even know what I'm doing with my movie TMNT stuff. Uh, I, I don't, you guys know that I'm out of the cartoon space. Like I mentioned out of the turtles in time space. Um, so I'm going to be doing, I decided to do the Mirage stuff and, uh, yeah, I'm very picky with like, when it comes to the cartoon, um, <clears throat> excuse me, all the froth and foam in the, in the throat there. I'm very picky when it comes to the cartoon aesthetic that NECA does. Um, I have liked what, how they've done the, the Mirage stuff that I've seen thus far. The cartoon turtle line just doesn't really do much for me. That token Razar though is great. Um, but, uh, like the drawing, like just like the, the lines, the actual drawing of the lines on the, throughout the figure, like I'm, I don't love that. So, and again, for me, it's mostly all just about, you know, the, the vintage team and T line. So, but anyway, um, 
some major action here, which is nice. Uh, as I mentioned to you guys, uh, we are going to try and stop at the Undiscovered Realm, uh, potentially at some point today, uh, or at least at some point in this hunt. Um, I kind of got set back at this Walmart and I'm on somewhat of a tight schedule. Uh, we'll be hitting at least a couple more targets, one specifically in the uh, Palisades Mall in West Nyack. We'll check up on True Believers as well. If you haven't already, go check out my store tour where we crawled through the place uh, on my birthday almost a month ago. Crazy. I'm wow. Almost been 40 for a month now. Um, uh, but we're going to go check up to see if there's any cool uh, new stuff there. And then that's kind of it. Like I said, I will most likely mix in a GameStop. I want to try to get a nice mix of everything for this end of the year hunt. And, you know, what another, what a year it's been, you know, out of the two plus years I've been doing YouTube, this I would say is def has definitely been the most fun for me. The channel's been growing, which means I've been meeting so many new people all over, literally all over the world, which is amazing. Getting to share my experience and collecting journey with all you guys and uh, getting to see what everyone else is doing. That's what just makes it so much fun for me. The collection room is on the horizon. We'll have that next year. Thank you guys for being so patient and for just continuing to come back to this channel, watching these dopey hunts and everything and, and anything else I've been doing. Uh, next year, we'll definitely be continuing forward with uh, even more convention and show videos along with the big box retail stuff because I, I do I, I enjoy going to big box retail to find stuff too I, I enjoy both I really do and uh, that's why I make these videos so um, but you know we'll be able to also add some other content with the room uh, you'll be seeing it for one as the backdrop you know most of my videos and um, we'll be able to do you know the haul videos will be nicer I might mix in some reviews. Statue content will be a part of this channel. Um, yeah, live streams. It's just a very exciting time for the channel. And um, I really appreciate all of you guys, genuinely appreciate all of you guys for sticking with me and uh, your ongoing engagement has been, has been great. That's what has made this fun for me. That's what has made this motivating for me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. And uh I think that's going to wrap it up for this end of the year coffee talk. I will say that my, by far and away, the most satisfying and enjoyable pickup of the year was the Motu Shipper. Very happy with that. Uh, I did post uh, another walkthrough of the space, the collection room space. Um, one or two tweaks since then. And, and one of those tweaks consists of me uh, putting the Motu Shipper in a better spot in the toy nook. So I'm excited. I'm excited to eventually show that to you guys. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the permit. My stupid town finally freaking cashed the last check. So I had to drop 4,500 for the architect to build, to write up the plans. Uh, that got processed. The town approved it. Another 900 plus 908 to get the stupid permit sticker. That got held up. That got delayed a bit. Um, got that pushed through though, finally. And so that should arrive at my house soon in the mail. Once I have that, the electrician will come back and piggyback off that permit to get his own. And then off to the races we go. Construction resumes and hopefully we should be, not hopefully, we will be done in a couple of months. Um, so very exciting stuff. 2023, new collection room, lots of shows and cons, meeting up with all my friends all over the place, maybe even some international videos, who knows? I will have to go to Dublin for work and uh, London for work uh, at some point next year. So um, be on the lookout for potential international hunt videos. Um, just a really exciting time. And uh, I'm really happy to get to share, share it with all of you. So again, thank you for all of your ongoing support. I hope you guys are enjoying this channel. And we are not done yet with this end of the year hunt. So from me to you and the Bolero parking lot, Donut Delight, salute! Little detour here on the way home. Porchester Target is on the way home, so there's no excuse not to stop here. I have not been back to the store since the whole Motu shipper debacle a couple of weeks ago. It is a good store, though, so I am curious to see if they have any new stock. We're about to find out. So we have arrived here, Porchester Target. It is very crowded. Check this out. This is a very turtly toy hunt, which is awesome. First time seeing this in stores. Reissued foot soldier. Pretty cool. 
very cool see. to see that. Got the Atom here, first time seeing this. So DC you know, Direct, like Heat Wave, I've seen that before. Look at this guy. Watch you doing. Got a Viper hanging out here. You might tell you when you're behind people, they can't see you. Thanks, guys. Got Blue Beetle. Booster Gold 2-pack. This is, it's very crowded here. So I am going to uh, get as much footage as I can. Hawkeye, without being rude. <laughs> Moon Knight is here. Wow, a couple of Moon Knights. Gore. A Mr. Knight. What else? We've got uh, that junk. Um, let's see if we can sneak back into the main toy aisle here wrestling Corazon de Leon Chris Jericho got a bunch of unidentified Imperial officers from Ferrix here three of those Adam Page short trooper a couple of short troopers Tika Grandma Tarkin Palpatine last few archive waves that we've seen in stores over the past several months. Random She-Hulk sitting around. Some Micro Galaxy and Mission Fleet stuff. And sliding over into Motu Land. The usual Masterverse packs. It's Mantena. Craig Tello. Porchester Target, December 17th. Come get them. If you want, I'll, uh, let's see. Wow, is that a, is that really a deal? That's cool. There he is, Mantena. Come get him, buddy. I'm going to message you after I get out of here. Scareglow. Restock on him. Am I the only one that doesn't really love this? I love Scare Globe. This just doesn't really do much for me. <laughs> Head is good. Eh. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this figure, honestly. I really don't. Too much. Too much. Look at the girl. It's a big girl. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this guy. I don't... I don't love him. 40-year He-Man... Beastman, and then Dinos, got the Italian guys back, never left. T-Rex that I always look at and say that I like, and I'll say it again, I like that. And guitars from Esh, Esh FAO Schwartz. Closer look at some of the Dinos here. And I think that's going to do it for Porchester Target. Goldmine GameStop. And this place is stacked with new Black Series. A ton of gaming greats, troopers. A mix of stuff we've seen before. At the Holiday, Holiday Wookiee. And some stuff that we haven't. Take a look at this. Jedi Revan. Looks like there are two of those. And more gaming grades down here. That security droid. A pile of those, as you can see. Nope, oh, got another gaming grades trooper back there. Pretty much every gaming grades trooper that's come out in the past, you know, year is here. That rhymed. And Toad. First time seeing Gunslinger spawn on horse. Cool. Horse looks pretty good. And there are, it looks like four of these. Don't need it, but cool to see that. It's Man Bat still chilling here. And we've got the Trapper Wolf helmet. That's looking like it from here. If there's anything else that I managed to see on the way out, I'll let you guys know. But this is the meat and potatoes of the store that we just checked. A lot of Black Series gaming greats.
if you need them. Goldmine GameStop, Greenberg, Greenberg, New York GameStop, I should say. Come get them. And this is right as you walk in. Imperial Senate Guards. First time seeing these. Got a Mix Mayfield. Pretty cool. More gaming greats here at the Goldmine GameStop. So we have arrived here in GameStop, Palisades Mall, West Nyack. The Target is mobbed. I mean, this place also is kind of mobbed. The Target had absolutely nothing. No point in showing you any of that, but GameStop around here has been stocked recently with troopers of all kinds. And this really caught my eye. I am not going to buy it, but Kenny has Akuma. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. I've got five of them here. So come get them. GameStop, Palisades Mall, West Nyack. Here is the main display for toys and action figures. Bunch of Black Series, credit collection. Fall in order. It's the first time I'm seeing this guy. Some droids. It is really packed in here, so I'm going to get out of here very soon. Some deceased. Black Panther back there. Really love that figure. And yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. Nothing special there. More troopers on this shelf. Stuff we've seen before, but fully stocked. And then it looks like a clearance section over here. Some pops. Falcon right there. And it's going to do it for the store, but that Kenny as Akuma is pretty darn cool. So is this Cobra Fang, but I'm not collecting Funko. Yodle hoo! It's day three. It's the final day of this hunt and the final hunting day of the year for the channel and for myself. Same thing. Yesterday, I could not find a parking spot outside the Undiscovered Realm, so we couldn't visit that. True Believers, blasting music, super crowded. Nothing has really changed there enough to warrant additional footage. If you guys really want to see what that store is about, go check out my store tour video from almost about a month ago now. Um, I'd love to work something out with them where maybe I can schedule going in there for a store tour without the music. It is, it's unavoidable, the copyright, uh, claim that I will get if I, uh, try to do anything but just overlay music. And I just don't want to do that without talking. So, um, long story short, nothing new there. Didn't film anything. Target Palisades Mall didn't have much. I was eyeballing one thing that I might go back for later today. I do not know. Um, but I didn't film in there because they didn't really have much of anything there either. And up next today, we're going to target White Plains. We'll see how that goes. If we go anywhere else after that, it might be West Nyack Palisades Mall because of what I just mentioned, something that I'm potentially a new line that I'm getting into. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go to target White Plains and take it from there. I'll see you at the store. Popped in quick here to Target White Plains. Wrestling. Looks like a lot of Series 16 stuff. Jeff Hardy. A-dubs, same old, same old. Corazon De Leon Jericho. Series 4. Wow. A lot of the Target exclusive Obi. Look at that. Uh, Mixotica as well. It's the first time I'm seeing this in store in person. Pretty cool. Don't need it. Moving on down. Masterverse. Vuge. Not seeing anything new from O2. A three pack down there. I did order the. Uh, Mattel Creations exclusive. I just wanted that on card. Rangers, Transformers, kind of light, this whole 
wall is a bit light on stuff. G.I. Joe. Yeah, nothing to write home about here. Uh, moving on down into dinos. I do want to check the Pokemon section behind behind me because I, I am feeling like I'm going to start diving into that. Uh, Ampelosaurus. I like this a lot, actually. That's a very cool dino right there. What's this guy? What is this? It's random weird stuff catching my eye at the end of the year here, 2022. Uh, let's see what's on this end cap. Anything? Some Wakanda Forever stuff. And nothing. All right, do we have any Pokemon stuff over here or what? Um, I do see something. So this is, I need to educate myself on the Jazzware stuff. You know, they had a whole crate of this stuff, not in this scale, the single packs, the big bubble pack like this for Pokemon like a year ago at one or one or two of the Walmarts over by me, all discounted for nothing. And I was tempted then, didn't bother. Ugh. Another one of these packs. I need to educate myself. Let me know in the comments, anyone that's collecting Pokemon, let me know. This is like a not true six inch Lucario. The Rayquaza, I found here too, uh, right there. I want to say not all too long ago, passed on that. Charizard as well, which was last year. I might, I might look to hunt those down. But it looks like for the main toy aisle, it's like a Gigantosaurus uh, plush bin. Looks like that's it for uh, the main toy aisle, so. I'm gonna walk into the NECA section here and see what's going on. Ed 209 from Real Toys. Can we open this up anywhere? Nah, nah, nah. Nope. That's cool. First time seeing this in stores. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, daddy's taking this home. Are you kidding me? The turtle spree continues. Van Helsing Splinter. Oh, this is amazing. What a find. Yes. Got some Nightmare Before Christmas. Reactions. It's Hocus Pocus. Stuff is new. Uh, what else? I think that's looking like it for this place, but wow, what a find. Here in the Palisades Mall, taking the backwoods to the electronics section. Hopefully this thing is still here. This place is mobbed. We're about to find out. I feel like I've said that a lot this time. We're about to find out. We are about to find out. Oh, yes. Here in the electronics section, West Nyack, Palisades Mall. There are two of them now. There was just one yesterday. Now there are two. Jazzwares, Pokemon. I'm definitely going to pick up this box. It's got a couple of my favorite Pokemon in it. Check paint apps. And take one of these home. Very happy with this. We are diving into Pokemon. Uh, this is the electronic section. This is, is where the, the old NECA section used to be. The main toy aisle is all the way over there. So, you know, this is not a spot where I don't think, you know, most people would care to check for things. I happened to just roam down here yesterday off camera, found this pack. It's been tempting me for a while, this line. This has sealed the deal. So we're gonna take this home. If there's anything worth seeing in the main toy aisle, you will see it next. If not, I will see you guys back out at the car. Okay guys, and that is going to wrap it up for the year. This place is mobbed. It took me 30 minutes to find a freaking parking spot. I'm probably going to get beeped and screamed at to get out of here so people can, uh, someone can take this spot. Uh, so why don't we, before we do that, let's go over the pickups for today and we'll call it a year. First up, Splinter as Van Helsing, part of the Universal Team and Team Monsters line. Very, very cool. Pardon the glare there. I love the crossbow that we get. 
This is another exciting figure in this line and in this wave. There's the wave there. And the latest toy line that I am now jumping into, I found this off camera yesterday, came back today. It's been tempting me literally for years. Like I mentioned uh, over in White Plains, I found this stuff in bargain bins in Walmart. It was either a year ago or two years ago as single packs. And the single packs are really nice too. I've seen them over the over the course of, of time at Walmart. Um, not so much recently though, uh, in those single big bubble packs. They're very reminiscent of the Hasbro, I want to say 2000 uh, Pokemon line, which I loved. And I had a couple of figures of. I'm a big Pokemon guy. I'd probably say 99% of this channel does not know that. It all started back in the late 90s, mid to late 90s, uh, picking up a lime green Game Boy Color and playing Pokemon Red for the first time uh, blew my mind. And so I'm very happy to add this into the collection here, Blastoise, Charmeleon, and Pikachu. We will look to collect, not all of them, we don't need to collect them all, but the ones that I want. I do need to track down Charizard, and I have seen Rayquaza in stores. This is really nice packaging too if I were to leave it in box, but we're not doing that. Um, I have seen Rayquaza in stores. I'm going to check the app for those two and uh, see how I fare there. That rhymes. Of course, let's end the year on a rhyme. Thank you, as always. This person in front of me is parked with Bright Song. Thank you, as always. It's kind of good lighting, actually. Oh, there it goes. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to check out these videos and to check out the channel. Thank you, all of you, for your ongoing support of this growing channel. It's been so much fun, as I mentioned before earlier on this hunt. It's been so much fun and so exciting to create these videos and share my collecting journey with you guys and to and to see what you guys are collecting and for you guys to share what you guys are doing and to share your journeys. It's been so much fun for me. Thank you again for your ongoing engagement and your support. Have a very happy, merry, blessed, and safe holiday season, and I will catch you guys in 2023 unless i put out another haul video or a mini hunt video before then check you later peace uh -huh.